The story began in the multiverse where Bowser's dark ship was landing, the most powerful king of the Koopa a race of dragon turtles. While King Bowser was conquering all the empires on the planet, the penguins defended their kingdom by throwing snowballs at him, but this did not affect King Bowser. He remained calm, in his opinion only the power of his servant, Comic, was needed to defeat all the penguin soldiers with his magic wand. Then with his strong fireball, he destroys everything. Bowser now climbs magical stairs to obtain the Joker Star, which means he has unlimited power and he is ready to capture the Mushroom Kingdom. Here on Earth, Mario Brothers and Luigi watching their new plumbing business commercial on television. Luigi and Mario spent all their savings on this commercial to get clients. In the cafe, their bosses spike and laugh at them for making a silly television advertisement. Then Spike taunts Luigi but Mario defends him soon the big guy pushes him to the ground. Spike considers them both prime losers of Brooklyn. Suddenly brothers receive a business call from a new client who informs them that she has problems with her bathroom plumbing. Both of them rush to that place in their van. Unfortunately, he ran out of petrol so Mario suggests they should run to get job done. Mario and Luigi pass through a construction site, an expensive house. In the bathroom, the owner has a minor issue, but before entering, she introduces them to her dog, who becomes angry when Luigi accidentally breaks his bone. Soon after the job they are about to leave but the dog come is still angry because Luigi broke his toy. The dog closes the door and attacks him. But Mario locks him in the bathtub. Unfortunately, the dog destroys the pipe in the walls causing water to start leaking. The dog attacks them again. The dog falls out of the window but the brothers save him. After finishing the job they return home where their family is waiting with a mushroom dish for them. Mario doesn't like mushrooms. They all started laughing at their plumbing business. Mario decides to go to his room without eating. He turns on the news, and later Luigi comes to his room with some food. The news reporter announces that there are serious problems with the water pipes under the city and they are flooding the city and water is filled everywhere. Mario sees this event as an opportunity to save the city. He immediately takes his brother to the street where all this was happening. Mario opens a manhole, and Luigi enters the hole. Taking a shortcut around a pipe, they hang on to it before trying to close it, but the pipe breaks and they fall a few meters down. Then they both realize they are in a slightly strange place because the pipes continue thousands of meters below. The brothers begin to watch this place and Luigi finds a pipe. Suddenly the green brother disappears. When Mario goes to look for him he realizes that only his tool remains, which immediately falls out of his hands and he too is sucked into the pipe. Here begins the journey through the multiverse of Mario while being transported Mario holds Luigi and assures him he is safe now as they are together. But unfortunately, they are separated by strong wind and Mario continues through another tunnel while Luigi goes to a darker side, a place with fire and smoke and lava. Here Mario ends up falling into the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario is scared by a guard of this place a mushroom known as a toad. Mario informs him about Luigi and asks Toad to find him. From the dark place that this scares the little mushroom which reveals that it is Bowser's kingdom. Mushroom tells him that the princess will help him find his brother because she is strong. Dot so, he heads toward the castle. On the other side, Luigi has arrived waking up and walking around to find Mario. Here the green brother is attacked by Koopa skulls, and Luigi finds himself trapped. He then ran towards a large hall but soon he realizes that there were other creatures behind him, they catch Luigi. In the Mushroom Kingdom Mario is guided by the mushroom throughout the kingdom where he has to go through many tunnels, moving steps, levitating bricks and everything resembles video games. Then Mario reaches the top of the castle where the guards won't let him in to see the princess. So Toad distract them. Mario enters the villa so the guards capture him but Princess Peach seeing that he is a human, orders them to release him so she can talk with him. She explained to Mario about Bowser's arrival at war with her kingdom. The mushrooms didn't know what to do as they are cute and can't fight. So they asked their princess what they should do. She plans to convince the Kong King for his help to lend them his army to face the Bowser. Mario asked for her help in finding his brother Luigi, who was now in Bowser's territory. But Princess Peach asks him to show his worth by passing a test. She then took him to a balcony where a Super Mario Brothers game level emerged in the middle of the river, full of difficulties. She told Mario that if he passed this level he would be ready to face Bowser and she would welcome him to her team. First, the princess showed Mario how to pass the level, perfectly without any mistakes, which left him amazed as he did not believe he could do it, she gave him a red mushroom to give him powers, but even though Mario did not like mushrooms he had to eat them and it made him stronger. Mario failed again and again in this test even after several attempts. However, 
In the morning obsessed with passing the level Mario finally succeeded in passing all the obstacles, unfortunately just as he was about to finish he failed, Mario is caught by a biting plant that returns him to his reality. But after watching his courage princess accepts to take Mario all along. While this is happening we will go to Bowser who impatiently waits to reach the Mushroom Kingdom. Bowser tells his army to prepare for a war to conquer the Mushroom Kingdom, but more importantly, Bowser wants to conquer Princess Peach, with whom he plans to have a grand romantic wedding. Meanwhile, Luigi is not happy and misses his brother Mario he is taken in a hot air balloon by Bowser. Later Princess Peach takes Mario in front of all her mushrooms in her kingdom to announce that she is leaving for the Kong Kingdom to recruit her army and confront Bowser. As they walk they meet Toad, who joins them because he claims to have a very strong will. Dot they travel through different landscapes. The princess makes it clear to Mario that she will not allow Bowser to end this world. Bowser is preparing a song for Princess but is interrupted by his servant comic who tells him about Mario and Princess Peach. Princess Peach shows Mario her ability to gain powers from flowers and change her appearance. Mario tells her that she doesn't seem to belong in this place because she is a human. Then she reveals that she doesn't know where she comes from she only remembers arriving in the Mushroom Kingdom, as a baby and the mushrooms raised her for a long time and when she was young they declared her their princess. Meanwhile Luigi finally reaches Bowser who was very annoyed because he was jealous of Mario and the princess that he torture Luigi and hangs him in a cage above hot lava. In the underground cells, we see that all the hostages are held in cages that will fall into the lava. Meanwhile Princess Peach and Mario arrive at the Kong territory. The princess demands to be taken to the king, where Princess Peach asks him to give her his entire army, so they can fight Bowser. But the old king challenges Mario to a dual fight against his son if Mario wins, he and the princess will get the soldiers. After he accepts a battleground was prepared for the iconic fight. The duel starts with Mario getting a beating from the Kong. Mario wrongly ate a blue mushroom for power but it make him small, Donkey Kong then smashes him against the wall with his finger and sends him flying. Mario then cracks another cube which gives him the ability of a flying cat that he is also very agile and can dodge all of Donkey Kong's attacks then subjecting him to scratches. This is how Mario emerges victorious and now the princess can ask the king for an army. Soon they all prepare for the wars king gives them access to his garage with supercars, where they choose their cars. Meanwhile, the villain Bowser is informed about King Kong's arrival and he tells them to ambush the monkeys. Finally, they reach the rainbow track where Princess Peach and Mario are driving back home. Bowser soldiers attack them. Mario and his fellow monkeys also fought back. One of the soldiers launches a missile that destroys his car. Mario jumps and gets another one but all the attacks cause a large rock to fall and destroy the track there the mushroom is going to die if not for the princess who launches herself to save it in her ship. Princess Peach and the mushroom manage to escape and the rest of the soldiers including the King of the Apes are kidnapped by Bowser. At the same time, Mario and Donkey Kong fall into the water. Suddenly the monster emerges from the depths and swallows them. At the same time, the princess arrives on her motorcycle to the kingdom to warn everyone that they must evacuate the place because Bowser is coming soon. Bowser reaches the Mushroom Kingdom and proposes the princess to accept his proposal but the princess refuses and considers him a monster. Bowser proposes to leave Toad unharmed in exchange for his marriage. Luigi and the other prisoners are informed about the wedding but in the stomach of the sea creature Donkey Kong and Mario wake up and don't know how to get out of this place. It is at that moment that they find a rocket forcing the sea creature creature to open its mouth so they can escape in the rocket and head to the Mushroom Kingdom. The princess is getting ready for the wedding and Toad gives her a mysterious bouquet and the princess leaves to begin the ceremony. Then we see all the prisoners slowly beginning to fall, as Bowser will sacrifice them as a tribute to his wedding however the princess does not sit idle as she uncovers the bouquet and touches a blue flower that gives her magical abilities of ice. She fights against the dragon and freezes it at the same time, Meanwhile Mario and Donkey Kong arrive in the rocket but are shot down by Bowser's soldiers. Mario was knocked down again and again until he randomly obtained the ability to fly with his tail. Dot at the same time the princess fought against the soldiers but there were too many. Dot soon the eyes she put in place to stop the chains through which Luigi was hanging 
from falling into the lava. But it begins to melt and she sets fire to one of the bombs. It explodes and she loses her ice powers at that moment Luigi is about to be consumed by the lava but Donkey Kong saves him by rewinding the chains. Luigi is then saved by his brother Mario soon Bowser breaks the ice and orders a missile to be launched to destroy the entire Mushroom Kingdom. This is exactly what would have happened if Mario had not caught the attention of the missile making it chase him. This is how he tricks the missile into entering through one of these pipes causing it to explode outside of space. However after the explosion a strong wind blows and creates a dark hole. It is too strong and ends up bringing the entire Mushroom Kingdom to the human world. Mario is the first one we see arrive but before he can do anything everyone is transported to Earth, of course, Bowser had arrived and he was very upset because Mario had interrupted his grand wedding and prevented him from taking the star. Bowser fights with Mario and chases him he also tries to burn him. The princess throws a turtle to distract Bowser and bring the star closer to Mario. When Mario goes to take it the dragon uses its fire breath but Luigi appears and stops the fire together they jump and obtain the power of the star. They then punch Bowser and destroy his ship defeating his army. Finally, the princess makes him eat a blue mushroom that turns him into a small dragon and they lock him up. Everyone in Brooklyn congratulates Mario and Luigi on their heroic deeds. The next day they wake up for going to work but this time in Mushroom Kingdom and they live here now. Subscribe to Universal Recaps and turn on notifications for regular updates. Give a thumbs up if you like our content.